Welcome to another episode of Barry's Star Wars Rebels Review. Thanks for joining me this week. Today we're covering episode 6 of the second season, and this was Wings of the Master. Um, in this episode, it's really all about Hera and uh, her mastery of, of being a pilot. So the Rebels are trying to bring some supplies to a, uh, to a Rebel uh, faction on a planet that is, has an Imperial blockade. And uh, it starts off pretty cool with a nice little space battle where the, uh, the Empire takes out uh, the supply ship in, in addition to some pilots. And I thought this was pretty good for a Disney show because one of the pilots, he goes down classic style like the old Star Wars original um, A New Hope. When you see them attacking the Death Star and the and the pilots burn up inside, so uh, good for Disney for going to that extent and uh, and killing off a killing off a, a, a character, and I think that's going to probably have to happen through the seasons here because you know that these uh, Jedi and the, the these rebels aren't all going to last because because we know that in A New Hope when Luke and Obi Wan um, get together with Princess Leia and Han Solo that these guys aren't around anymore. Um, so we know down the road in this season, something's gonna happen to Kanan and Ahsoka and Ezra. So you never know what's gonna happen there, but I expect that this might get dark. And for a Disney kids show, that could be pretty interesting. So in this episode now, it's really all about Hera. Uh, Hera is a great pilot. Um, she's uh, She's been sent off now on a, on a mission um, by Captain Rex, uh, who has a contact, um, who's building a ship. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's not a ship that we've seen so far in the Star Wars universe up to this point in the timeline, um, and it's pretty interesting when you find out what ship it is. Um, so this, that's kind of cool how they throw this in there. It's really, it's the, um, it's the development of the B wing, uh, which is pretty neat. So. Um, with a throwback to the old concept artist, uh, Ralph McQuarrie. So Quarrie is the character. He's a Mon Calamari, and he is the designer of the B-Wing. Um, and uh, Hera goes to pilot it uh, for the first time. It's never been flown before. So now Kanan and Ezra go pick up the new shipment. It's the last chance they have to protect this rebel faction um, and get them the supplies they need. Uh, they can't wait any longer for Hera to bring back this new developed uh, B-Wing that nobody's seen before. Um, so they head over there uh, and they take that, that, that Imperial blockade on head on. Um, and uh, they're getting their butts whooped actually. Um, they're, they're taking a lot of hits. It's looking pretty uh, bleak until, boom, here comes Hera and uh, um, Zeb and uh, they... they the B-Wing, Hera's flying the B-Wing, and Sabine is uh, on, on the guns, and they do this little swoopity boop boom and then here's this cool laser cannon that comes out, and it's all, it almost looks like the Death Star, um, but it's uh, it's red, and it goes, boom, and they blow up one of those, uh, one of those ships in the blockade, the ghost gets by with all of the, the, um, the cargo, and they save the day. Um, and so that was pretty cool. And then um, at the very end, Hera is uh, is promoted to Phoenix leader. She's now leading the, this uh, this rebel crew. Um, so that's pretty cool that she's uh, she's getting recognized. So so now we're uh, we're six episodes into the season. So I'm just gonna recap it really fast. I'm gonna go back, um, and I haven't really been doing this. I haven't been really rating these episodes. So I'm gonna go back and rate the episodes starting with. Episode number one, it's the Siege of the Fall. Everybody knows that I love this episode. Um, I'm giving it a 10. You had Darth Vader, you had lightsabers, you had everything you want out of a Star Wars show. Um, you got the Force, you got the Sith, you got the Jedis. Um, it was really cool. So that got 10 out of 10. It's a perfect score. If every episode was like that, this would be perfect. Um, but obviously they can't. They've got to do some, some building. Um, the next episodes, it was the two-parter. It was the uh, started with the Lost Commanders. And this was cool. It's a throwback to the Clone Wars. Um, it's, it, you know, I like to see these guys, Rex and Wolf and Gregor. Um, but, you know, uh, it was some character development. It was a little bit slow. Nothing too exciting was happening. 
um, in these episodes. So I gave it a five and a half. And then the follow-up, the part two to that, or the to be continued, which was Relics of the Old Republic, um, again, wrapping up that story. And I gave that a five and a half as well. Um, then we move into uh, some pretty cool stuff with Always Two There Are. And, and that's where we get to meet the really neat, the new Sith Inquisitors. Um, and uh, particularly enjoyed the Seventh Sister. I think she's going to turn out to be a pretty cool character. And I can't wait to see her show up again in the series. And I gave that one. 7 out of 10. And then finally, uh, last week was uh, Brothers of the Broken Horn, another throw, throwback to the Clone Wars. Uh, that was uh, that was a pretty good episode. I like Hondo. He's, uh, he's pretty interesting um, and kind of fun. Gave that one a 6 out of 10. And uh, this episode, which was uh, Wings of the Master, uh, I gave this one a 6 out of 10 as well. Again, there was, there was no lightsaber battles. Uh, there, was, there was a cool space battle. Um, and there was the whole development of the B-Wing, but uh, nothing else really really happened that I really want to see, which is a lot of lightsaber battles and Sith and Force and some cool stuff like that. All right, that's the show for the week. I hope you liked this episode. Check us out next week for Episode 7, uh, Breakdown of Star Wars Rebels. And uh, leave your comments below. I really want to know what you think about the show, uh, where you think it's going. Um, tell me all about it. I like to chat about Rebels, and I like to hear what you have to say. So, there it is. That's this week's Fairy Star Wars Rebels Review.